Welcome to part 5 of Mega Man X2 with uh, the video game stoner. Um, yeah, we're doing a funny run here. Um, basically tried to get as much equipment and upgrades as we could right away so that we can ensure that we get all zero parts. We are just about to fight Agile. Um, I could go around and get some other upgrades if I wanted to right now, but I'm I'm just gonna go get Agile because he's not really all that hard. I do unfortunately, however, have some bad news. Um, the Chillstream Logitech Xbox 360 style controller I got, the D-pad doesn't actually have diagonal sensors. So it's literally impossible for me to do two things. Number one, get the heart in Crystal Snail's stage. It's impossible. I can't get out of the ride armor. I just keep dying. <clears throat> uh, and number two, I can't perform the Dragon Punch anyway, even if I could get the heart. So either this is going to be a Dragon Punch-less run, or I'm going to switch to the keyboard, which I'm not really keen on that idea. But I'm also not really keen on playing without the Dragon Punch, because I haven't played without the Dragon Punch in forever and ever. Um, and beating Agile's second fight in the uh, X-Hunter stages is tough. Alright, let's wake up now. Here we go. Da -da -da. Pretty good. So I already got... I think I got all... Oh, uh, I think there's a sub-tank for me to get here, too. So that actually works out really well. Um, also, for those of you who are interested in these details, we are smoking, apparently, what I have been told is Blueberry Kush, uh, among a couple of other things. <laughs> I like to mix things up, of course. So, um, it's pretty interesting. I don't know what I think of it yet. I might have more to say in a later video. Did I miss it yet? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, that's the big thing I really like about the Mega Man X games, is they, for the most part, pretty much give you lots of ammo. Let's see, I practiced the shit out of this the other day. Getting some slowdown. Okay, that's clearly not the way to do it. Yeah, that's what you do, right there. Up there's a sub tank, and this is pretty hard. You can hit the wall, but it's hard to hit it low enough to... Gosh, it's tough. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, it's basically the fucking buster upgrade for Mega Man X1, um, cranked up to 11, right here. Yes! See, if you do it really well, you don't even have to use the goddamn, uh, air dash. So I've pretty much come to the conclusion that with this guy, uh, spike wheel is really where it's at. Seems to take care of business. You'll get hit. Of course, it, it'll miss sometimes, too, so. Oh well. Damn it. Alright, come on. There we go. That's what we like to see. And then you usually get them in like two good hits. Yeah. Not bad. 
Now where is the X Hunter hiding? Let's see. Oh, I know where he is. This area is tricky. You don't want to get hit by any of these yellow sensors, or it's nearly impossible to reach Agile. Oh wow. So it really helps to have the air dash here. Just like that. And then you just gotta cook it. Um, now I've heard that Magnet Mine also works well against him in his first form, but I don't have it. I don't think. No, of course I don't have it. You get it in this stage. But he, you know, the X Buster works pretty well against him, especially if you have the upgrade. So, no worries in that regard. He's pretty easy. He's a little fast. Of course, he's called it Agile, so... And that's... yeah, that's pretty much what he does. Okay. So you stay up high so that he will shoot you up high. Because you don't want him to unleash that thing in the mid-ground. If you can avoid it. You can dash under it, I think. But... Oh, this gives me a little more trouble than I usually have. Probably the small screen. I don't know. Nice. Not bad at all, I think. Considering I haven't even warmed up at all. Today. <coughs> Zero's part, baby. Yeah. Well, so now we've secured the good ending of the game, so to speak. It's not really all that fabulous. Not like in Mega Man X3, where you can get Zero Saber equipped to X. That shit's awesome. I like to use the uh, emergency weapon, you know, whenever it seems feasible, because otherwise you're just wasting a chance to charge it up. You know what I mean? Every time you get hit by the right kind of weapon. That's the kind of way I look at things. I look at things in terms of resources a lot. And that seems to do pretty well by me. Okay. Um... What the fuck is this Magna Centipede? He's really easy when you have the Silk Shot and you know exactly what to do. His moves are really tricky if you don't, though. Watch it, we're gonna show you. It's kinda like Skin Chameleon all over again. He's sneaky, though. You'll see, he's kind of a ninja. See, he, he, he wants to trick you into shooting when, when you're not really gonna hit him. But if you just wait, you hit him every time, right here. You watch, you'll see how it works. See that? Even though he jumped on the ceiling, I still hit him as he crossed over because of the damage pattern of the silk shot. So it's actually perfect. Right here, just like this. Sometimes he tricks you, but it's okay. There's plenty of ammo. You see, I've hardly used any ammo, and he's down to like one third, one quarter now, maybe even less. Coming up to time for big finish. So there he is. Not hard at all when you know what to do. But he is extremely tough. 
when you don't know what to do against him. Indeedly doodly. I think we're gonna call that about it for this episode. It's been like 11 minutes or so. Um, there's not much else we can really do in that amount of time off the top of my head. Um, there's a couple of hearts and another up. Well, no, let's we can go uh, bubble crab stage and get that stuff real quick, probably. What do you think? Do we have time? I think we can pull it off. I tell you, I got the munchies pretty bad though, and that's retarded because uh, the the stonerette just made like. Well, baked chicken and uh, rice for dinner. So, I really have no excuse for having the munchies, and yet I do. Alright, we're gonna try to run this as fast as we can. Do I have. No, I don't. Do I have any of the weapons that are good here? Oh no! Oh shit. I might have a little bit of a harder time here than I usually am used to having. Whoops. I got him. Okay. Damn. No, you dumb. God. Oh, I know what to do. The second one's a lot easier. There we go, and one try! try. Very nice. Alright, that's going to do it for this video. Join us next time where we go fight Crystal Snail. It's going to be really hilarious. I love fighting him. Thanks. Bye.